Scorpio, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for February 14th to the 20th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off <clears throat> with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. <clears throat> Same thing every time when I started reading it. Man, I got it. I need to clear out my throat. Chakra to speak. I need to speak. Scorpio needs to speak to me. I need to speak to Scorpio. Let's see Scorpio. What's going on? What is there to say? Oh, so many things. So many things. Can we just leave it at that? Overall energy, Ace of Pentacles, brand new beginning, done. The reading is done. No, we can't. Alright? Because it's, it's too fun to go into these energies and to not do it. Alright. In the recent past, the Eight of Swords, the Magician, the Hangman. Really stuck in a manifestation. I feel like you were trying to manifest something, to bring something to fruition. And you were kind of frustrated by the looks of it with the Eight of Swords. Because nothing was happening, nothing was moving, nothing... Oh, where's my manifestation at? Well... Here's the problem. Uh, overthinking, overanalyzing, you know, yeah, the magician, great. If it shows up as an energy for manifestation, it's perfect. When it's surrounded by cards like Eight of Swords and then obviously the hangman, no, nothing's gonna happen. You know, manifestation doesn't come from whoa, 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 whoa. It comes from a clear mind. Emotions have to be thrown in there, all sorts of elements that fall into a balanced kind of mixture and then you throw that into the universe and then see what happens, you know? If you're throwing to the universe the Eight of Swords, I'm surprised the universe sent you back for this, you know? Like, let me just hold tight and wait for my manifestation. Um, really confused about why it's not working out, why it's not happening. Because I want it so bad to happen. No, your fears wanted it so bad to happen. Your insecurities, your pain, your everything that your mind told you you were going through. You know? Not your true self. Because if your true self wasn't revealed through these eight of swords, through these thoughts of yours. Um, now, in the current situation, the Five of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Cups, you're kind of pissed off at love. You know, you're like, yeah, I want it, but no, take it away from me. Deep down, you do want love, because otherwise it wouldn't show up here. And then on the surface, you're like, you could be even lying to me here. If I were in front of you and I would tell you, look, based on these energies, you're against love right now. You would tell me, fuck off, I'm lying. I want love. What's wrong with you? I breathe love. Give it to me. Yeah, well, no, you're against it. There's something here within your energy that's saying to love, stay there. I want you, but stay right there. You know, because the card of self-sabotage is here. The card of self-deception is here. So, and then the nine of wands. That whole sense of... Let me block everything to come my way, you know? In the immediate future though, the Three of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. Now that's what I'm talking about. Beautiful energies, alignment, stability, equal give and take, emotional fulfillment, possible getting together or getting back together with someone, I don't know, let's see, let's clarify. Let me clarify the Ace of Pentacles. King of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. All right, so you got the tools to 
to create something new for yourself here. And I feel like you're receiving some sort of a message, communication, something like, hey, do you want to, you know, something that opens you up in the direction of something new. Um, and I feel like you're falling into the place of this is it, you know, sounds good, looks good, let's go for it. Because I see a whole lot of determination popping in right away. Something that feels right. Huh. Good. Um, pum, 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 pum. Let me do the magician in the recent past. Oh, Scorpio. The Empress, the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Swords. Scorpio, no, no, no. You were trying to manifest a person doing something or, you know. No. With the Eight of Swords again attached to this. Um, I mean, yeah, of course, you can manifest whatever you want. You can manifest a person if you want. My personal humble opinion about that. People have free will. So manifesting against that, which you don't know if it's against that, maybe. Um, um, it's very hard. It's very hard and it's not, I mean, if you are truly coming from a beautiful, honest, pure place and you're trying to manifest a person or a person doing something, probably not going to happen because they do have free will. Um, if you want to do it from other places that are not as pure, you know, there's all sorts of things to do that, which I do not recommend, you usually backfires one way or another, but there's definitely a whole lot of confusion around it, like why isn't it working, why isn't it, I manifested, I did all the right things, you know, I looked at the moon when it was full, I looked at the moon when it was half full, I looked at the sun when, who knows, I looked at the birds when it still didn't work, who knows, I don't know, manifestation ways. Um, no. no, and not from this energy. There's two elements here that don't match up with a manifestation. One, manifesting a person. Two, manifesting from the place of the Eight of Swords. Uh, let's do the hangman. Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Okay, so you learned something out of this. You were, you were manifesting and then you were kind of waiting like, okay, I did it. I, I did that, you know, I applied that way of manifesting. Now I got to wait for the results. Let me wait. You know, I, I'm going to guess nothing happened, but through this waiting, I see you learning something out of this, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what this is about. I mean, I know what this is about, but um, it's definitely uh, it's definitely something to learn from. Yeah, when you try to do that. But man, it seems painful. Let's do the Five of Swords in the current situation. Seven of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, thank you, God. Um, lots of healing on your side, lots of working, especially on energies that seem self-sabotaging and self-deceptive. Uh, really, really working hard on figuring those out. Basically looking at yourself and seeing the ways in which you tricked yourself into who knows what, you lied to yourself, you told yourself things that weren't, you know, aligned with the reality of things. Uh, there's a whole lot of work on your side on that. Let's do the Knight of Wands. You get the Knight of Wands, the Justice card, the Six of Wands. You do have energy coming your way, a passionate kind of energy coming your way, but you're blocking it, which is telling me that in reality, you might not even see this energy. Uh, and if it does, just for the, you know, with the slightest kind of intention, you would be like, nah, I'm not interested. Um, but man, this energy feels like, it feels good, it feels balanced. Let's do the Ace of Cups. Mm. 
not as long as you're stuck on the other energy from the past. The Hierophant, the, Hierophant, the Queen of Swords, the King of Wands. Uh, you're showing me that you do want love, you do want a brand new beginning in love, but only with that one person that you are stuck in manifesting. You know? It has to be them. Otherwise, I'm not recognizing love. And I do see you not recognizing energies coming your way. And it makes sense. Imagine, like, vision wise right if you're stuck on a particular in a particular direction you're looking only at it, at that and your focus is only there yeah things could fly by here all they want you're gonna see something but you're not gonna look at it because you want only that right so whatever flies through here maybe it's better than that maybe it's the same energy as that you know but uh no Maybe that energy left from there and kind of came through here, came through here, and you you didn't even see that, and you're like, no, no, no. there, you know. It's kind of like that. Let me see the three of cups in the immediate future. Five of swords, two of pentacles, seven of wands. Yeah, you're stepping back into indecision about this situation. So you're showing me that you're working a lot on those. Uh, self-deceptive and self-sabotaging energies and then you're showing me you're coming right back to them um, you don't want to though that's that's the good news for me when I'm seeing this because it's like okay Scorpio doesn't like that they're back there uh, in those energies because it, it places you into this energy of indecision of I don't know what to do now you know It's okay, it's okay. You can get out of this, especially if you're working so hard on this. You'll be able to recognize it when it wants to creep back in. This energy. So that's cool. Six of Pentacles in the immediate future. The Judgment card, the Nine of Cups, the Page of Swords. Really um, kind of dropping everything and just kind of trying to seek uh, that balance within yourself. You're... you're, you're starting to focus more on the inside rather than let me find something on the outside that's going to make me happy you know there's a whole lot of shift for you and i feel like this shift has been happening for you in the in the last few months at least um where you stopped focusing on the outside so much and just going within more um but i feel like you're finding different ways every time and this one that comes right in here Seems like it's something new because you're just starting to do that. Let's do the Nine of Cups in the immediate future. The Chariot, the Six of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, there's a soul connection that shows up for you here. And it seems to have this energy brought in of long term, of stability, of, oh, this could be it. You know, and I see it coming in quite fast. I see it coming in quite fast. Interesting. The minute you reach this place of the Nine of Cups of emotional stability, then the universe kind of drops it in your lap. Like, here, take this as a reward. Good job, Scorpio. Take a soul connection. No, I don't know where you'll be with that because for right now it's like no i want that one that one yeah. yeah but that one left you know and it left a empty carcass over here and kind of you know and it went on by like, no it's gotta be there it's good no mm -mm. that one that's it no no scorpio it left here's another one no you know so I don't know if you'll still be in this place or maybe you'll be open to this one. It looks like you will, but I don't know. Let's see what the universe has to close it off for you. Ten of Swords, Six of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is the same exact thing that I that I got for you towards the end of the reading here. As I said, for the last few months. At least you're showing me more of an inward kind of focus rather than let me look for happiness outside of myself. 
there's definitely um it's almost like and it's not that but it, it almost look, looks like i give up on the outside because nothing on the outside can make me happy and i'm just going to turn to me uh it's not that you give up this is the energy that kind of comes through through these cards but um this is kind of just validating the point of focusing more on you because it's more important at this time than what's on the outside because what's on the outside looks kind of like uh you know whatever kind of give up on everything which it's kind of rough the way that i explained it here in you know in terms of what i actually see there but you know what i mean it's a very similar energy so that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time